Hey, it's Lana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So this video is going to be a little bit of a pep talk because I feel like we need to have this conversation and also I feel like so many of us have been in this situation where we want to do this whether it be because you want your safety blanket your comfort blanket to come back to you because you don't want to be alone or whether it be because you're gutted that it ended and you just really want them back and you feel like things could work out better next time around or whatever there's so many reasons why we want to manifest an ex or a specific person. It doesn't even have to be an ex. It could be somebody that you're crushing on or it could even be a friendship and a friend that you want back in your life. I feel like trying to manifest specific people, especially an ex, is a bad bad idea and it really like I don't like the fact that there's all of these videos about how to manifest exes I feel like that's just setting us up for toxic dynamics because oftentimes they're an ex for a reason first of all but also like how do you know that that specific person is meant for you how do you know that they're supposed to be in your life right now like do you actually believe that they are do you actually think that they're meant to be in your life is it something where you feel passionately about the fact that they are good for you or is it because you want your comfort blanket back you know like you want that safety net and security to come back to you to make you feel better about yourself and I think our intent about why we're trying to manifest specific people why we want them to come back into our lives is really really important because oftentimes people are trying to manifest an ex, but not because they're going to have a healthy dynamic with them, not because they actually are in alignment with them, but because they feel lonely, they miss them, they miss the memories that they had, like all of these different reasons makes you want to bring that person back in your life. But what if there's something better? What if they're not actually meant for you? What if the reason it ended is because it's supposed to end and there's a whole better option out there that you've not even met yet, you know? Like, people come and go from our lives for a reason. That's what I personally feel like. And if somebody's supposed to come back into your life, then they will. And you won't need to sit there consciously trying to manifest it. It will just happen because it's supposed to happen rather than it being something that you need to control. So I feel like personally, if you're wanting to call somebody in, instead of trying to call in a specific person, call in what's best for you. Like for me, when I, because I feel like I'm getting to the stage slowly, gradually, not quite, but slowly, <laughs> where I want to call in my life partner. But rather than it being a specific person, because that's so restrictive, I don't know who it's going to be. Like, it could be a past person. It could be somebody that I've never met. It could be somebody that I've known from a past life, but I haven't met in this life yet. Like, I don't know. So instead of me focusing on a specific person, I'm going to write down and I have been writing down all of the qualities of everything that I want in a connection, how I want to feel in a connection, like the kind of dynamic that I want, what my non-negotiables are of what they need to have. Nothing ridiculous and unrealistic but things like um, them being self-aware, like that for me is a non-negotiable because I need somebody that is self-aware, otherwise we're just not going to get on, you know, like being able to get clear on all of those things of what you want rather than it being a specific person and then calling in those qualities in a person. Like I will manifest my life partner by focusing on what that relationship will feel like, what the dynamic will feel like, what it will look like, like our interactions with each other, what they will look and feel like by how I want to feel that's how I'm going to manifest it, not by focusing on an ex or a specific person, because I don't know who that's going to be. And I feel like sometimes we want to control it so much where we really, really want it to be that one ex that we are desperate to get back with and stuff. But what if they're not meant for you? What if they're not the best person for you? What if there's somebody that's even better that you could have that you've never even met and like that you can't even quite 
perceive or grasp how incredible that connection's going to be because you're so focused on this other person that never treated you right anyway. So, and, and even if they did treat you right, even if they were incredible, instead of closing our minds to just that one person and restricting ourselves. It's like opening it up to all of the possibilities and the fact that there are so many people in this goddamn world that you can meet the most incredible people that actually meet all of your needs, all of your non-negotiables, that you're actually physically attracted to as well as spiritually and mentally and emotionally, that you really vibe with in the most incredible, beautiful way, instead of just closing off to the ex <laughs> and if the ex is the one and is the person that's meant to be your life partner then by calling in all of the qualities that you want and how it's supposed to feel you're going to call in that version of them the new and improved version because obviously if if they're your ex time has gone by and you've both grown and changed and evolved and stuff throughout that time in your own lives and on your own paths so if you want to call them back then instead of focusing on them focus on the qualities and if they're the one that's supposed to come back to you then what by focusing on those qualities you call in those that part of them you call in that version of them on that timeline that's in alignment with you where they'll come in and be those qualities rather than just focusing on the person <laughs> and limiting yourself. I hope this makes sense, but I just, I feel like it sets us up for so much failure and also toxic, unhealthy dynamics when we focus on specific people out of lack and out of abandonment and out of loneliness and out of fear rather than being in our power, knowing what we want, knowing what kind of relationship we want and what the dynamic looks like and then calling in that. So then the right person that's in service of your highest good and the best, most incredible dynamic can come in and you can both thrive together. And yeah, you know? <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful. Definitely comment down below or you can DM me or text or WhatsApp me if you have any video suggestions or any questions. All the links to my info will all be in the description box below. Literally everything about me, including my music, my social media, my phone number, my jewellery brand and one-to-one -one sessions because I do offer private one-to-one -one sessions with me. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Slow, love, baby